Let's see this question. We're given A, the ratio of A and B is a three radical five. So it's an irrational number. And we want to find out this expression. So the numerator will have A squared plus AB plus two B squared. The denominator will have A squared plus AB plus B squared. So they only differ by B squared in this case. Um, so what do we do? First, so you see we have A squared, we have B squared, so and then we have AB. So let's just calculate that. So we can write A over B as A equals to three radical five B, right? So that's the relationship between those two. So then A times B, so we can write it as a three radical B times B, which we get a three radical five B squared. And the A squared, we just raise this one by square. Three square, three square is nine. So square root five square is five. Nine times five, 45 B squared. So now we set up to just substitute everything into B squared, substitute A squared, substitute AB into B squared. So we only have B squared as a variable. So let's do that. Oh, I didn't finish, so let's do it. Oh, sorry. So let's let's look at this expression itself. We can simplify, because the numerator and denominator only differ by B squared. So two B squared, we can write as B squared plus B squared. Then you see this part, this one, just one B squared, but same as a denominator. So we can write as one. Then we're only left with B squared divided by A squared plus AB plus B squared. Now let's substitute. So B squared is B squared, and A squared is 45 B squared. And AB, A times B is three radical five B squared, then plus B squared. So everything in B squared. So we can simplify. So we divide every numerator by B squared, divided by denominator by B squared. So we just get rid of B squared. So we have one plus one over 45 B squared plus one B squared and 46 B squared. Divided by B squared, we have 46. Then plus three radical five, right? Then one, we can now, we can change to be 46 plus three radical five over itself. So, oh, okay, what I did here is I rationalize the denominator first. So I multiply by its conjugate. You see 46 plus three radical five, right? Its conjugate is 46 minus three radical five. Then by difference of two squares, so I get a 46 squared minus three radical five squared. So I get this, I get a 46 squared minus 45 in the denominator. A numerator I have just one times 46 minus three radical five. So 46 squared, you calculate it, that's two, one, one, six, the minus 45. The numerator, so now we want to change this one to be 46 squared minus 45, divides itself, because we want to combine with this numerator. So we have 46 squared minus 45 plus 46 minus three radical five. In the numerator, we have the denominator, we have two, one, one, six, which is 46 squared minus 45. Then we just do the calculation. So in the end, we get this number. This is just an irrational number. Right? So uh, yeah, that's it. So in the beginning, it looks like a little bit complicated, right? But because we have this relation between A and B, so we can change, you know, we can change this whole expression in the term, in term of one variable because of this, the relation is given.